One of the main things that you want to be sure you can do when you're going through a course like this is that you're able to follow along with me because hands-on is the best way to learn with any technology. So I want to talk to you in this video about how to get your own copy of SQL Server 2012 Evaluation Edition. Now there is an evaluation copy available from Microsoft. You'll go out and download it. The best part is it's absolutely free. It'll just take a little time to get it. And what you're going to get when you download this is a full working version of SQL Server 2012. And it's going to run for 90 days. At the end of the 90 days, it'll tell you the trial's up. It'll stop running. And you would have to uninstall it and reinstall it. I would strongly encourage you to look at using a virtual machine because virtual machines work well with the type of file you're going to download. We'll talk about that in a second. But virtual machines, you can use them for 90 days. And at the end of the 90 days, just kind of delete it start over. It's much, much easier. It doesn't damage the machine you're working on, all that sort of thing. So if you're familiar with virtual machines, I use VMware, VirtualBox, Oracle's free virtual machine software. You can use Microsoft's virtual machine software, virtual PC or HyperServer. All that stuff is out there. But just pick one that you like if you're familiar with those and use them. Now what you're going to do here is download an ISO file. But let me warn you, that thing is a little over four gigabytes in size. And so you need to be on a broadband probably to get that without it taking a couple of days. So just kind of make plans accordingly right there. Now what I want to do is jump out to Microsoft's website and kind of step you through this. When you get to Microsoft's website, just go to their homepage, just www.microsoft.com. And then just in the search bar, type SQL Server 2012 evaluation and that should take you straight to a page now by the time you see this video yours may look a whole lot different from mine don't pay attention to my warnings I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get pop-ups or warnings for you guys here notice here's the link download Microsoft SQL Server 2012 evaluation right here is your download link just click on that and it's going to give you an option for which ones you want to download. And I would suggest you get this one right here for 4.2 gigabytes. Just click that, click next, and just follow through the process. And once you're done, you're going to have a 4.2 gigabyte ISO file to work with. Now, before I leave you, let me point this out. Working with that ISO file, you have two options. It's going to be big, and you're going to use that ISO file to install SQL Server 2012. And by the way, you can install it very, very easily on a machine running Windows 7. You can run it, obviously, on any of the server operating systems. So keep that in mind. Now, the first option you have with that ISO file is to burn it to a DVD and then install SQL Server from the DVD, just like we've always done. There's a little easier solution. You can use a program like Magic Disk is one I use a lot. You can mount that ISO as if it were a DVD and then just use it to install without having to burn it to a DVD. Keep in mind, if you're using virtuals, you can just point a virtual machine to an ISO and install it, and you don't have to burn it to a DVD. Now, if you're on Windows 8, you can just right-click on that ISO file, if I'm remembering correctly, and tell it to mount it as a drive, and you can work with it that way. But in Windows 7, you'll have to use some sort of program. Now you can get Magic Disk from www.magiciso.com or since I'm taking care of you here, I put a copy of Magic Disk. It's a little file. It's a little over one megabyte. It's out there in your working files folder so you don't have to go to the trouble of downloading it. Just copy that little file onto your machine and kick it off and it will install Magic Disk. It's a little clunky to work with until you figure it out, but you will like it and I use it all the time when I'm downloading ISO files to evaluate something, to look at something, and it makes it very easy to install things. But again, I would strongly encourage you to go the virtual machine route if you possibly can. So that's how to get your free copy of SQL Server 2012. And I'll talk about installing in a separate video here. But once you get that downloaded and you get it installed, you're going to be able to follow along and do everything just like I do it here. And trust me, that will multiply your learning.